Welcome to Recipes at the Grateful Shed. If you, or if I get to know someone long enough that I work with them or just get to know them, eventually I'm going to ask, if you had one last meal, what would it be? And I get all kinds of information that helps me decide what to cook and I get recipes. And it's just interesting to find that out about somebody. I asked a guy that works with me that question. And he thought about it for a minute and he said, well, if I was on death row and I had one last meal, it would be a real good hot dog all the way. And we, and we thought it was funny. But I put some thought to it, and a good hot dog done right is something good to eat. And here in Sampson County, we love our hot dogs, and it's done a certain way here. And I know everybody's got their own way, and they got their own all different recipes. It's endless. But it's Sampson County, a all-the-way hot dog is what I'm demonstrating tonight. So uh, to start with, depending on how you cook your hot dog and what you cook it in, and we'll go through that in a minute, it needs to be lightly brown, a little bit of black. Uh, I think if it's blistered, it's too done, and there's a seam on the side of this hot dog, you're probably not going to show on the camera because mine didn't bust, but if you bust that seam open, I think it's too done. It just tastes watery. So, uh, after giving this a lot of thought and Woodrow and I discussing it and doing a little research, we've decided that a hot dog deserves respect. A good hot dog deserves the same respect as a filet mignon or a T-bone. And it's also important that when you display your hot dogs, when you get them out for your folks to eat, if you're camping or if you've got a cookout or just in your home, that it's laid out right, and I'm gonna let Woodrow explain that. You have to make your layout exactly the way that you're gonna put the stuff on. And you, you there's only a certain there's only one correct way to do that. First, you take your bun, you take your wiener or your frank or whatever you want to call it. Next in line is your mustard. And ketchup if you prefer ketchup. I prefer not ketchup. Then you go to your onions. Next is your chili. And then you top it off with southeastern North Carolina style barbecue uh, slaw. You don't get slaw anywhere except in southeastern North Carolina. Oh, let me see that. Now, how can you tell if that's made right? Well, when you shower down on that hot dog, and the coleslaw juice runs down that side, and the chili juice runs down that side equally, you know it's done right. Now this is so important to us, and we want you to keep up with it. Hold down a minute, Woodrow. Uh, I've got Bruce here with a visual demonstration to make sure we get it right. Brother Bruce, would you set up? Yes, sir, I'm ready. Okay, this is things we do and we don't do with a hot dog here in Sam's account. First of all, you never eat a hot dog that's boiled. We don't boil hot dogs. Okay? The next thing is, we never eat a hot dog. You will disrespect the hot dog if you cook it in the microwave. Please don't do that. The third thing is, is never serve a hot dog on a cold bun. Never ever. Make sure the buns are warm. All right? It's okay to cook a hot dog in a heavy skillet, preferably a cast iron pan. <laughs> okay, it's also okay, and I, as a lot of people do, to cook a hot dog, Bruce, would you hurry up, on a grill. A grill is okay. So let's all remember, never, ever, ever disrespect a hot dog. Bruce, you good? Good. What? My arms are tired. That's <laughs> down. Thank y'all for watching our video. Thank y'all for sharing. Thank you for many kind comments. We really read every one of them and we enjoy them. And we love seeing where all the lights are coming from. We're looking at every one of them. Thank y'all again. We love you. Good night.